Only way we could complete this problem in two seconds is because it's a multiple choice question. Had it not been a multiple choice question, I don't think anybody could do this in two seconds. So let's take a look at the denominators. Here we have x minus 3. So we know that since the denominator of a fraction cannot be 0, x cannot be 3. And also we have x in the bottom or the denominator, which means that x cannot be 0 either. So any answer choice with a 3 or a 0, we're going to eliminate. Here we have a 0 and a 3, so definitely A is no good. We have a 3 here, which means that B is not going to be our answer. And then answer choice C has a 0, which means that C is not going to be our answer. Only one left over is answer choice D. And of course, if you go ahead and take the 1, plug it into the equation, it'll work.